Hello there everybody. I got an email from a chap called Vishal and uh, it included a little sketch of something he's trying to model in Des Design Spark Mechanical. It's uh, like a funnel but with perforated cone part here. Apparently it's a, a, a part for a fluidized bed. He's having trouble modeling it in Design Spark Mechanical. So I figured out a way of doing this and uh, here it is. The first thing I'm going to do is to put a big rectangle on here. Which will give me the whole screen with a grid on it. Rather than just the fiddly bit in the middle. Now we're going to start uh, drawing the funnel. We'll select the line tool and we'll start drawing the the inside profile of the funnel. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Make the lip 8 millimeters and this angle here should be 135. So we'll tamp to the angle one three five tab so that angle will stay one three five we just need this length now we'll bring that down to the ten millimeter line from here to there and somewhere about there for the, the bottom pipe escape. Now we'll duplicate that line and select the offset, double click and then we can move that away too and that's nice. So we now just need to connect up the ends and the pull tool. Now that we've got this we can dispense with this temporary lines. See what I mean? It gives you less grid. But we now want a centre line down here so we'll use a construction line. Put that down the middle. And then P for pull. Select our profile. I'm going to rotate it. Select an axis. That's the axis. And full pull. And we have our funnel shape. Select. Select the inner surface of the cone. put some circles on, we want to be below here, below the rim, so we'll put one on there, two millimeters, yes, and somewhere above here, on there, two millimeters, We've got four roughly equally spaced. We know D, D for design mode. We've still got the pull tool select. Move it a bit. Select the inner surface, hold the control key. And 
and we want to cut the material so there's the cut tool left button and drag and we've got holes through next thing to do is to we'll square this up nicely and we with the select tool selected select these through holes make sure they're selected right through and now we're going to move them now I want to move this a little bit so that we can drag this and pop it onto the side wall that gives us a nice rotation here to rotate about and we're going to create patterns make sure the patterns is selected rotate this in the direction of the arrow until we get a pattern emerging that, that'll do, whoops, go back a bit it's a bit sluggish, there we've got a pattern of 6 so just change that type 31 or, or 30 or whatever return now it's going to take a while, it's got a hourglass thing take a short while and there it is So I hope that uh, was fun and useful. So please subscribe and I'll see you again quite soon. Bye.